So here's our 2018 Platinum 261 XL DT, which means dining area and twin beds for sale. It includes these Magna Shades that were an upgrade. And we also have tire covers from Magna Shade. And the windshield cover and windshield wiper covers. in excellent condition, less than 27,000 miles. And we will go inside. These little things keep the bugs out. And leave the air on because it's 100 degrees here in Southwest Florida. So as you come in, there's the Firefly panel, which controls pretty much everything in this RV. And the windshield um, curtain that we close at night. But those magnet shades do a great job of keeping the sun out. But we also invested in darkening both of these windows. So they do have a darkener added on the passenger and the driver's side window. Makes a big difference down here in Florida. Here's the TV. Comes with um, the DVD player. That was standard with the purchase. Some of the overhead bins. the dinette area, which we enjoy quite a bit. Also makes into a bed. We've never used it as a bed, but I understand that's what it does. And the other thing about um, Coach House, well, and here's another shade on the door for at night, which is great. But the other thing about Coach House is not only do they have the sun shades that keeps the sun out, they have nighttime shades that go over that. So you have both kinds of shades for total privacy and for just filtering the sun or having it wide open. Another great thing about Coach House. Here's our lovely dinette. We spend a lot of time here. The other thing about the Firefly panel is it controls the lights and you can see that many of them are dimmable. When it has the up and down arrow, it means you can dim those lights. So right now I will turn on the rear ceiling and the front. So now you get a, an overlook of that. These are all LED lights. I made these um, cushions, uh, pillows, uh, to go up in these fans because in Florida, the hot sun comes through there and so we wanna protect the inside of the coach from all that hot sun. So I, those come with it, but it's, you know, not a big deal. It's just, you pull them out when you wanna have the fans going, but there is quite a bit of light that comes through, quite a bit of heat. So we do um, cover them up when we're in a sunny place, which we are today. So there's the microwave and convection combo. comes with the instructions inside there on how to use it. And the two burner stove and the sink with the cover. You just take that off when you're traveling. I mean, when you're stopped to use the sink. And of course this comes up for extra storage. I mean, extra countertop. And not sure if you know that the drawers are all full extension full extension drawers. They come all the way out. So there's a lot of storage in these full extension drawers. 
and those are underneath the dinette, both of them, and they're also underneath the beds. Then you have the overhead bins that hold a lot as well. With the marine locks, always have to make sure those are on when you're traveling. We added this curtain, sort of a blackout curtain, in case someone wants to watch TV out here in the dinette area and someone wants to go to bed. That way you can um, have both. Of course, the three-way fridge, which works great. We took some ice with us on this last trip that I took out of my own freezer. And two weeks later when we got home, we still had ice, so it does a good job. And here's the fridge. It's turned off right now, otherwise that light would have come on. The twin beds, which we love. We sleep so well in these beds. Sorry that air conditioner is so loud, but it is hot, it needs to be on. Another TV back here. And we've got some bungee cords around it because it's on a, um, pull out kind of a holder thing that you can tilt it towards the other bed as well. So we bungee cord it up so it doesn't jump around while we're driving. And then of course we have lights here as well. For reading, whatever. There's the two shades on here also. So there's the nighttime shade. Here's the sun filtering shade and that goes up as well we really love those um, this toilet cover came with the RV it looks pretty um, not very useful or functional but it did come with it so there you go very nice large bathroom large shower which we use quite a bit get the light on so there's the shower light and it's a great size shower it's a full stand-up shower and we do use it all the time and sink and another overhead light so there's plenty of light in here storage again plenty of storage and there's another towel sort of storage area there's a hook for the door to keep it in place while you're traveling which you must do or it'll bang and then here's this lovely storage for hanging clothes it's quite big, both sides open up, and there's a lot of space on the bottom for things, so it's a very big closet. More than enough that you need, unless you're living in it full time, then I don't know. First one side, then the other side. So that's the bathroom. Again, here's the view from the back end. We did pay extra to have a pantry here instead of just a shelf. So it's a pantry on this side that we store lots of things. And it's a double-sided pantry. And there's the other side so you can store lots of things. So that was an upgrade. And if we hadn't have done that, we would have had two of these kinds. They're just large, um, basically holes that you can store things in. So the pantry works out really well. And so does this. We put our coffee pot and things in this one. Let's see, what else? Of course, the... Um, there's an exhaust fan and light over the stove. We do use the stove. We have used it multiple times. Works on propane, works great. 
We've used the generator a couple times. We actually did on this trip because it was freezing, so we needed it for the heater. So if you'll notice, we have both a heat pump and a furnace. The heat pump we use when it's only around uh, 55, as cold as it gets, we'll use the heat pump. Because colder than that, we use the furnace. The furnace uses propane, the heat pump just uses electricity. But it's plenty good if it's not all that cold. If it's all that cold, you got to use the furnace. Um, there's the fans that go up and down and you can set the, the speed of the fans. There's information about the slides. This is how you extend and retract the slides. Um, the awning, you press that button to turn the awning on and then you use the, I'll show you. There are two ways to get the awning out. You can use this right here. There is a top and a bottom and then the middle black part is when you want to stop the awning midway. Or if you didn't want to use that, there's also a remote control for the awning that will retract it, extend it, and retract it as well. In case the battery wears out in one, you got a backup. Um, let's see, what else is here? Oh, in here, we do have the power leveling, hydraulic leveling system, and we use that all the time, and it's great. And then we also have, oops, the tank heaters. We paid extra upgrade to have tank heaters in case we're in a place where it gets really, really cold at night. You want you don't want your water and your lines and everything to freeze. This is just extra storage. Oh, and there's the um, fire extinguisher. We do have an inverter. I don't know anything about the inverter, but here's, I think, some stuff related to the inverter, possibly. I am not the one to talk to about the inverter. But back here in the back, There is more information or more controls for the inverter, again, which I know nothing about. All in all, we have loved this RV. We are just uh, not able to do it anymore. So it's time to, it's time to let it go. Thanks. Oh, and the price is 155. If you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask.